Hello and welcome to another Bounce Back Ability vlog. This vlog is all about the one and only Logan Paul. Now these vlogs are all about um, how public people, public figures, um, celebrities, influencers, uh, social media people, business people, lifestyle people, uh, entertainment industry people, those kinds of like, you know, folk, how they bounce back from setbacks, how they see opportunities in order to get back to a place where they are successful and killing it again. Um, and I want to try and tap into that inspiration and feed that back into um, motivational mindset, basically. So I hope you like these videos. Please do like and subscribe. That's always a very, a very good thing to do. Um, yes, yeah, so this one is about Logan Paul. Logan Paul, of course, is a very controversial YouTube uh, phenomenon. Uh, there's no other word to describe him as a phenomenon. He um, started out on Vine many, many moons ago when he was a kid, basically. I think he's in his mid-twenties now. This is a guy who basically exploded on the internet as the internet grew, as his content and videos grew on the internet. This is a guy who harnessed that power. He saw where it was going, uh, was making short videos on this app called Vine, uh, which doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I think it was owned by Twitter actually back in the day, but since did Vine and moved on to YouTube, Facebook, etc. But YouTube is where he, he his most, is mostly known. All his vlogs are sort of uh, uh, the thing that's made him famous, really, really famous. I don't know if you see many of Logan Paul's vlogs, but they are extremely unique in their style. Mike doesn't think I can do it, huh? I've seen the video, Griffith Observatory. You were crying your eyes out like a little bitch. I was exaggerating. I am legitimately red, green, colorblind. All right, put him down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The, the fast cuts, the fast edits, I literally love them. I don't know if anyone else does as well, but I think uh, of pulling you in. It's like, it's like bloody TikTok is at the moment, you know, you kind of watch one and you watch the whole thing and it's like six minutes gone, where did that go? The next one's dark, you, you get a little bit of a taste of it and it sucks you in. Um, but yeah, anyhow, his vlogs are really good, really popular, but this is a guy who's been through uh, possibly one of the worst crises you can think of when it comes to your image, your public perception. So yeah, early on, quite quickly was making money on these YouTube videos um, and um, all the other social media uh, apps and their videos. Um, hundreds of thousands of pounds, uh, a lot of people were saying. Yeah, and you know, this is a guy who was, who's intent on being uh, the world's biggest entertainer. He's, He's on a mission. He's he's got his got his mindset focused. He knows exactly what he wants to try and do. Um, I think a couple of years ago, he made um, his channel was made around twelve and a half million dollars. Uh, so that's just an indication of just purely YouTube stuff. That's purely social, um, of just how hard working and how much the graft has kind of shown and, and given him. You know, effectively, world at his feet, onto an amazing level, onto an, a different plane, and is <laughs> set to take over the world. I'm sure that. You know, these, these sorts of, when you get to that sort of level of popularity on the net, you can kind of call the shots, really. And obviously, he's got like, you know, famous brother Jake Paul as well, who's also in the YouTube game, but then uh, some stupid vlogs as well. Don't get me wrong, he does some absolutely ridiculously like, you know, tasering rats and stuff like that. And, um, you know, lots of irresponsible stuff. The one that I think effectively um, almost ruined him, took him to the brink, was the um, the video uh, on the Tokyo suicide forest. So they went to Tokyo, they went to um, do a bit exploring around Tokyo, I guess, and came across the suicide forest, which is a forest near Tokyo, I believe, and it's 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 where people are renowned for going there and, and killing themselves. And they found a corpse um, and they were filming it. And, you know, it got massive, massive backlash because uh, it's just not something, it's something you don't do. It's ridiculous. You just do not do that. And that was kind of like the start of the downfall, if you like, for a bit. That was 2017. Probably maybe a few months, he had to lay low. YouTube had to cut a lot of the advertising on his channels, on his platform. For effectively, that 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 incident could have finished his career. You know, all the, the views, everything else before that, that could have gone out the window if YouTube would have just canned the platform. You know, he's had a, a year and a half or two years nearly of almost repentance. Um, there was a fight, the first fight with KSI on the comeback as he was gradually getting back to YouTube. The first KSI fight, who's another YouTuber, they had a boxing match which was just the first of the sort of big YouTube boxing matches. There have been a couple before, but this was big. This was the one where everyone took interest and where 
you know mainstream media if you like was was into it um, and that finished in a draw that was in uh, in Manchester it was really, it was interesting because it kind of put him back into the more of a popular limelight if anything it kind of put him more on the map I think more UK people knew who he was then uh, but still you know not quite reputation was sort of being built I think he had to show and prove to the world that he kind of wasn't that he wasn't that same person that he used to be I think what you see now you've seen different uh, interviews that he's been on you know lots of different youtubers channels like true geordie's uh, interview that he did how much people love to see the downfall of an online personality oh they God. fucking they eat it alive it. they love Cancel it. culture is like the biggest thing like because people there's some like misery loves company and there's so much jealousy and hate out oh. in the world and so when someone who they've seen succeed like makes a mistake people love to rip them back down you got to own whatever you are in this life and nice. that's what i do Good shit. We bro. don't do we don't do uh, dirty DMs. We I don't do them. I was gonna ask. We don't do them. That was the well, that was the base. What do you mean? Will, 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 so no, 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 no. will you, you send any more dirty DMs? None. But Jake, you could not you find a dirty DM from DMs once or twice. Oh, yeah, I got caught, got caught once or twice. I was fair, drunk both I times when I was. And he also recently did Russell Brand's one as well, where he talked about um, how he came back and Russell Brand's Under the Skin one, which is a cracking podcast, by the way. The one thing I'm. Not, many things I'm thankful for, but one thing I am very thankful for about uh, my platform and my come up and my ups and downs is I hope to be a beacon that people can look at and base some of their heavy, heavy, important decisions on, 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 on the way that I've moved in my life, good or bad. Whether If I can be a model in any way, like, oh, Logan did that. I, I shouldn't do. Oh, Logan did that. I, li I like. I like the way he 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 uh, navigated that part of his life. Like th that. My parents only knew so much. I did not have a mentor. I only I I only knew what I knew, and there was no there was no me. There was no person making the mis mistakes on on my level or or successes on my level that I that I could look up to at the time. So if I can if I can in any way um, influence people to live their life in a way that like they they, they truly believe is right I, I'm, I'm blessed and thankful for that opportunity yeah. yeah he's kind of shown that well it's certainly saying that he's shown that um you know sorrow regret and has sort of is trying to rehabilitate i guess empathy and as someone who's, who kind of understands you know actions do affect people and the actions that you put out there are um you know that people do take that, that on board you know, effectively, when it comes to bounce back ability, this is a guy who's shown, you know, obviously the, the more recent fight, they had another fight, a rematch with KSI. Um, and that one was just incredible. That was massive. That one, uh, KSI won that one in his uh, in Logan's backyard too. It's gone to show that, you know, that the whole YouTube culture has become very, very, um, you know, monetized, mainstream and uh, heavily branded too. So you almost, ha he's almost had to kind of roll with that and become more mature because otherwise um you know no one's gonna no one's gonna take any interest you know now with all those players involved in it they don't want any association with you know stupidity but yeah just in terms of bounce back ability i just think the the key things that he's shown are you know repentance acknowledgement of what um what had happened in the past what had, what had gone wrong um you know showing that you know, what was really interesting as well from the fallout with the suicide forest was that he uh, did make a film and donate, I think, about a million dollars to um, mental health awareness causes and stuff associated with suicide to prevent it. So that, that was, you know, another part of the, this kind of, you know, the PR recovery, if you like. Uh, and I think that, that certainly did help. But also showing that you can be a popular figure in, in the public domain. It's, it's, it's almost like you've got to appeal to more people and do that by just being a nice guy. And I think he actually seemed to uh, come across as a really, really nice guy in a lot of these interviews and in a lot of these channels that were, were, that were talking to him. So yeah, showing that side and that personality and also showing vulnerability too. Um, it's important to show vulnerability, especially when you're going through a lot of stress and struggle. Um, you know, you may be uh, top, of the, top of the world one day, enjoying life, absolutely bossing it and then next thing you know you're in the gutter and no one wants to know you and i think in the times when you're in, on top i think it's really important to show you know gratitude and um some sort of humbleness this incident i think probably taught him to be more like that too um so yeah i guess the lessons are 
be a good person, be humble, be nice, be grateful, and, um, and show vulnerability where you can. This has been uh, my quick analysis of uh, Logan Paul's bounce back ability. I would absolutely love it if you uh, could comment and tell me what you think about Logan Paul's uh, comeback, if you like, what he's, uh, how he's done it effectively, and what you think about um, him as a personality. And, um, and also, who else you'd like to see on the bounce back ability vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, hit the comments button uh, and follow if you're watching this on another platform too. Thank you very much. This has been a Bounce Back Ability vlog. I will see you very soon indeed.